Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to buy car insurance online from Sonnet in just a few simple steps. Sonnet is a digital insurance provider in Canada that makes the process of buying and managing car insurance easy and convenient. So if you're looking to purchase car insurance from Sonnet, keep watching to learn how. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening any browser you have in your PC. For me in this tutorial, I'm going to use Brave Browser. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser. Could be possibly working for you or you have in your PC, such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, uh, Opera, or Brave like me, or any other browser. Maybe if you're a Mac user, Safari, or something like that. Once you have your browser on, make sure to go to this URL section. Simply type sonnets dot ca and hit the enter button that should take you to their home screen or main screen right away as you can see this uh, website is rated 4.1 per 5 on trust pilots on over 3000 reviews so uh, don't worry it's very good it must be very good so the first step is buying car insurance from sonnet is to get a code to do this Head over to this website, of course, and click on Get a Code button. Simply, let's just click on it as an example. And here we are. As you can see, let's get insured. It only takes five minutes. What type of insurance are you looking for? If you want like a home plus auto, or if you want just car insurance, or a home insurance, or a pet insurance. For us, we would like to have a car insurance, so make sure to click on this. This will take you to another page so let's just wait for this page until it loads it should not take a lot of time and as you can see it's loading right now so of course you'll be asked to provide some informations about yourself and your vehicle such as your name address type of car and driving history so make sure to provide accurate information to get an accurate code and once you filled in all the required field click on get code button of course so for us uh, here we will have to choose the state that we are at so make sure to choose whatever state you are maybe international for me then click on continue here we'll have to enter our address as an example here i'll fill something like that and let's just here add uh yes this is exactly and of course if you have this uh, option which is unfortunately we don't offer coverage in your area make sure that you don't actually have nothing to do and you will actually have to get a car insurance in another place. So make sure to enter another address. And if it's still the same, that means you cannot get a car insurance from Sonnet ATM. But just stay tuned because they may get it in your area very fast. So don't lose hope. Of course, once you enter your email or your address, of course, as you can see, your address, this is where your car is parked. The majority of the time, it must match mailing address and cannot be commercial property so of course then you'll have to enter the suits and make sure to check this option which is i acknowledge or that no one using the wrong address is fraud which could result in future claims being denied my policy being rescinded uh, and or my policy being cancelled and of course here what are you driving so here you will have to put your car name and of course uh, which year it's been made and etc and here when did you le uh, lease or buy it so here just enter when did you buy the car here you will have to enter the purchase condition is it new is it used is it a demo and here you'll have to add uh, the annual distance so just look at your car and you will see or you will know what you will have to do here then you'll have to enter the daily commute right here then of course you'll have to answer those three questions do you use this vehicle to carry pay and passengers or for deliveries and drop-offs so if you uh, use that uh, for it make sure to enter yes as you can see here do you use this vehicle for any other business process if you do make sure to uh, do yes and of course they will ask you here so depending on how you use your vehicle for business or commercial purposes it may be covered in your policy so we'll just need a few more details. So here, what percentage of your usage is for business? As an example, let's say 70% or 20%. And here, does uh, does your vehicle have commercial plates? So it will select yes. Of course, if you need more information, you can always click on this question marks to 
uh, know what exactly they mean. So as you can see, commercial play, uh, plates are given to you when the, you, your car is over a specific weight or has a commercial declaration when you register it. Most likely, if you don't know if you have them, you probably don't. So select yes or no if you have it. Select yes if you don't select no. So is the vehicle rented to others? Yes or no, depending on your answer. Is an emergency, is this an is this an emergency vehicle for you, uh, yes or no? So if you want to know more, as you can see, unless you're driving a police car, ambulance, fire truck, or tow truck, you can choose no for this one. So do you install winter tires for November until April? If you do, make sure to select yes. If no, make sure to select no. You can add any other vehicle if you have more than one vehicle. And if you don't, simply go to this coverage starts date. So when do you want to start this car insurance from? So just select the date that you want to start this from. Let's say, for example, I want to start in the 1st of June. So select the date. Make sure to check this option that I am not a robot. As you can see, we just want to make sure you are a real person and not a heartless robot. Then simply click and continue. So once you click add continue, as you can see, that's just double checking. So make sure to enter those uh, things correctly again. And uh, once you finish as an example, click on search and they and they will tell you if you have any problems. As you can see, oops, this doesn't look like a postal code. So make sure to enter a right one. And once you finish here, of course, you will have to manage your policy online. For me, I did not enter those things correctly. That's why. I cannot actually continue, but for you, of course, once you do that, you'll have to manage your policy online. One of the great things about buying car insurance from Sony is, is that you can manage your policy online. So once you've purchased your policy, you'll be able to access your account the, on the Sony's website or through the Sony's app. From there, you can make changes to your coverage uh, or file a claim or renew your policy. You can also view your policy documents and payment history. Of course, they can ask you some uh, additional questions after this. So don't worry, it's going to be very easy to answer. And of course, you can also or always connect or contact with Sonnet if you have any questions. If you have any questions or need help with your policy, Sonnet have a customer service team that's uh, available to help. You can contact them by phone, email or live chat. They are available 24-7 to answer any questions you might have. Of course, you can uh, contact them by clicking here at need help. As I said, there is this live chat and they have even the email option, the full option or, or the phone option. So this is the robot, of course. And if you have some questions, he will take you to the live chat directly. So there you have it, folks. That's how you can buy car insurance from Sonnet online in just a few steps. So we hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.